we wanted to talk more on the whole concept of feeling disappointed because a siren she gets everything that she wants i'm gonna say everything everything that she wants she's got the whole desire thing down as a skill and that's something that we're all learning to work with so what happens when you feel disappointment where do you go from there and more more specifically we also want to bring in the whole disappointments in business as well as in love because in something i'm i'm seeing here as an across the board thing is that we are growing our bandwidth. We're growing our emotional bandwidth. We're growing our mental bandwidth. We're getting bigger in both business and in love, regardless of what kind of work life you have. Maybe it's also your life as a domestic goddess, all the things that ma makes up your life. We want to invite it all to come into a space of healing and transformation, if that speaks to you, and wh whatever your siren dreams are. So I'm so thrilled to have both Naomi and Rory with us today. Hello, ladies. Hi, Natalie. Hi. What an awesome intro. Thank you. I I'm just going to jump right in here, and then I'd love to hear from Naomi. Um, you said something brilliant, um, uh, expanding your bandwidth. Again, in recent times we've come up with incredible things like uh showcasing your soul as business growth that that's brilliant the sanctuary business where your business is sanctuary naomi you came up with that these things are you know huge and your expanding your bandwidth is i think wow that just feels very huge to me like if I can ex expand my bandwidth to tolerate my triggers so that instead of when my husband, my boyfriend, my dog, my child, my friend, my date triggers me with feelings of disappointment and an in instantaneous need to defend myself or explain myself or I feel anger rushing through me. If I can expand my bandwidth, I won't react in the same old, same old, same old ways I have always reacted just because I have a neural pathway that goes from A to B and it goes from A to B no matter what. It's like he triggers A pathway and bingo, it's automatic. That makes us not free, not free women. We are slaves to a neural pathway that may not even be ours. It could have been installed like a computer program when we were children, and we're still just going A to B, A to B, A to B. So by expanding our bandwidth, let's think of it as expanding our entire brains, our entire neural pathways. And remember, everybody now thinks of your whole gut as another brain, as running your body in an equal way to your brain. And so I say the whole rest of your body runs you. Some people say your sexual energy is just that. Well, for me, I think it's a pretty all-encompassing drive to have something that you want that feels good. And that should be something that could direct us all with everything that we want and what we feel. So it's more than just A to B, A to B, over and over and over again. He says this, I go A to B, over and over again. So by expanding your bandwidth, you get to go, wait a minute, before I go A to B, how about, before I even go A, how about I go, what's going on globally with me? Well, I'm, oh, I'm reacting. Oh, I feel triggered. Oh, how interesting. I felt triggered like that yesterday and the day before and the day before. Is it his fault? Is it his fault? Or is he just falling into my dead end zone? Because that's why we're together. That's why we became attracted to one another, to automatically heal each other by triggering each other and learning how to grow and expand out of that. This is probably one of the most important things I've ever said here. I want to keep going with this. <laughs> um, but essentially, so expanding your bandwidth means I don't go from A to B. Instead, I look and feel into my whole body for what's new 
and what can be new about my response to that trigger? Rather than go A to B, where can I go? Do I even know the rest of my pathways? Is it an uncharted territory, like a forest, like a jungle in there? Are there places you've never been in your own brain, in your own neural pathways? Uh, do you need a machete to cut loose? Or, <laughs> or can you just follow a light? Can you follow a beam of thought? Can you follow your desire? Which is what we talk about all the time. All right, this is huge. So expanding your bandwidth, what do I want? By the way, the want workshop is coming up. So this, this is absolutely perfection this whole concept of expanding your bandwidth so that I can actually feel what it is I want instead of just reacting A to B. Mm -hmm. 